Hello everybody, well, hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're talking about how to connect your MongoDB database to UXC 3.0. This is one of the top, um, another very, 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 very uh, requested video since MLab went ahead and sold their company to someone who doesn't seem to be able to get their things to connect to our plugins. Um, so, we are going to check out another option for you today. This option also has a free plan up to 500 megabytes, even though I recommend getting the plan above that just so you don't run out of space. You can use the free plan as long as you want. It's, um, I'll show you here. It is 500 megabytes. It's a shared memory, everything, and it's, uh, it says for dev, test or dev purposes. The one up from that is a dollar, but, um, it's completely up to you what you want to do. I recommend the one above that, but if you need to, you can get the one just below that. So what we're going to do is you're going to sign up for the website. It's going to load something like this, and you're going to press create. Now, here's what you're going to do first. You're going to go to me over here, which says personal space. You're going to go to create, and you're going to create an add-on. Then you're going to go over here to the MongoDB. It's a no SQL thing right here. You're going to select that, and you're going to select the peanut plan and press next. For my example, I'm going to name it the test database, and I'm just going to keep it in the default Paris, France, and go ahead and create that. So it may take a moment to create because that's just how it works, but it should take pretty quickly to create it. So you can see right here, you just got all of your information you need. Something that no other host seems to be able to get to work correctly. And you got it all right here. So this is good. I mean, seriously, I'm so happy because I've been dealing with this for like the last 30 minutes, trying to find a host that supports it. This is the first ones who do it. So shout out to these people for knowing how to make a site. So here's what I'm going to do. You're going to copy your host, your database name, your username, and then your password here and the port into your data.yml file. Let's do that right now. So here we go. We got my data.yml file pulled up here. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to copy your host, the thing that's up here, and you're going to paste it where it says address. It's going to have something else. I just replaced everything with my S's so you can't get my actual database username. You're going to get your database name. This is going to go where you say where the both databases are. You're going to put it in both areas for the databases. Then you're going to take the user and you're going to put it where it says username. And you're going to take the password with the clicking this little lock sign here. And you're going to put it where it says password. Then you're going to grab the port, which is 27017, which is the same that's here. And you're going to paste it there. You're going to control S and go ahead and restart your server. What you're going to see the first time that you start up your server is you're going to see a bunch of spam go on in the console right there you're going to see a bunk and you're going to get that first error then it's going to spam a lot this is normal this means it's connecting and it's creating the data values you need in the server don't restart yet so here's what you want to do then you want to open up your minecraft and you're going to go ahead and join the server the first time you join in this case there is no error but in the first time you join with one player there may be an error because it's creating the files in the database that's required normally there will be no error but there's a chance there will be so then once you actually join the server you can see that you're both in the game and you can see there's no data because you just connected it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start the game before the like 3% of the world is loaded so I can show you that this actually works and it actually saves the data. So here's what you're going to do. It's going to go ahead and uh, start and it's going to scatter us out momentarily. So it's scattering us into the world. Since only 3% of it loaded, it's just going to be very close to each other. I'm just going to TP myself to the other person anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and TP myself to the other person. And you can see my other character right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kill my other character. Just like that. I ca actually killed myself there. But, um, yes. So my character right here actually won the game. Now, here's what happens with this. When the server restarts, you're going to be able to see that I have a win in my settings now. So it's going to say I have a win. This is a good thing. This means as long as it saves, when we restart the server and it says there's a win, it means the database has been connected successfully and there's no errors. The plugin wouldn't be loading unless the database connects, so it is a good thing that we see that everything's loading properly and working so far. Then your server's going to close. It's going to take a second to close over on the console since I cut it off midway by um, starting here. Um, so it may take a moment to load, but that means that all our data was saved to this database here. So once we get that, you're gonna, I'm gonna restart the server there, and I'm gonna go ahead and join the server once again. It's gonna say it's setting up, blah, blah, blah. Now, if we go back here, you can see it still says opening connections. This is normal. This is completely normal. It's supposed to say that. It's gonna say all this when it's starting up. Just leave it. It's gonna go away once this plugin loads. 
now that now when I join the server and I go to the leaderboards you can see I have the top death the top game plays the top wins and that is it and top points you see the data is saved after a restart which means it's all in the database and loading correctly so we got everything set up and loading correctly Hopefully this does help you out by setting up your doc, uh, databases and everything. The link to Fate UHC and the link to Clever Cloud is in the description of this video. Um, hopefully you can follow this to get all your info. It's pretty simple once you get to their website. It took me a minute to find a host that supported it, but I am glad I finally found one so people can have an easier way of setting up their UHC and your Fate UHC games. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord. It's bghdevelopment.com slash Discord, and we would be happy to help you out once we verify your purchase. Remember, only purchases from MC Market count, so please don't buy it secondhand. It will be an illegal copy, and we can't give any support for it. Make sure you buy it from us only. If you have any questions about buying via Stripe, Venmo, Cash App, Coinbase, any of those, let me know and I can help you out on Discord about that. Otherwise, PayPal is our default payment method over on MC Market and it all works fine over there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave any comments you have of this video. Um, there will be a new video coming out tomorrow. I'm not sure what it is. These are double uploads recently, so be happy about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow in the next video.